coach. Absolutely right. There we go. The head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Mike Tomlin, here live on our NFL Network broadcast. You know me. This is not our first rodeo of us chatting after you draft a Michigan Wolverine together here. So uh, I'm going to go there first and leave the rest to, to my guys. What you saw in Roman Wilson and why you drafted him. You know, I agree with you, Rich. Uh, the winner trait is something that we value. Um, you know, those formal years in college, man, when you're part of a program like that, it shapes you forever, particularly in terms of your relationship with the game. Uh, he is a competitor. He's really talented. He got really good top end speed. He can separate at break points. Uh, and he's had a really good football experience in Ann Arbor. And we think all of that is value for us as he transitions to the league. Coach, you drafted three offensive linemen so far, in, including one at the very top there in Troy Fatano. All of them love football, all of them passionate, all of them real physical. Was continuing to address the offensive line a big key for you guys heading into this draft? We just want to roll people, man, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> you know, we, we got some backs that we like. Um, we, we, we've got a good offensive line. We, we took Broderick Jones a year ago. Um, this this draft pool or class uh, we thought was really uh, loaded with some top end offensive ta offensive line talent and um, we just wanted to draw from that well. Hey coach Charles Davis here you were mixing and matching down the stretch at linebacker and you did this young man out of NC State won Bill Cowers records went by the wayside by the in the in Wolfpack land. What about Peyton Wilson. I know you liked him a lot obviously you took him but how do you see him used. Liked him a lot. Um, highly productive, really kind of in all phases of linebacker play. He was a volume tackler over the last two years at NC State. He made splash plays from a coverage perspective in the passing game in the form of interceptions and passes defense. He got after the quarterback some in the blitz game. He's just really shown a well-rounded skill set. I think that's why, why he won the Buckus, uh, among other awards. We're excited about him. He's long. Uh, he can run. He's got good linebacker instincts and, and is a hard worker. Coach, you guys have a new offensive coordinator in Arthur Smith, but also two new quarterbacks in the room, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. How's it going so far between the three of them? It's going really, going really well. Um, all three guys, you know, to be really transparent, are, are somewhat scalded. You know, they got something to prove professionally, uh, but we as a collective feel the same way. Uh, we have something to prove, and I just think that that is a good frame of mind to be in as individuals and as a collective as we prepare ourselves for the 2024 season. Um, you know, it's not fun to relocate or get fired or, or, or things of that nature, uh, but as competitors, man, it always motivates us in the right way, um, and I'm excited about working with the men that you mentioned, um, and, and we as a collective I've got some questions to answer, so I'm excited about that as well. Well, when you say we as a collective, what is it that you have to prove in that regard? Man, we want that confetti raining down on us, Rich, like your alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I appreciate your candor and straightforwardness as always. Thank you for the time. You be well. Enjoy the rest of your draft, sir. Appreciate you. Much respect to you guys and what you do. Thank you. You bet. Take That's care, Mike Tomlin, everybody, Thanks, head coach of the.